Hey everyone, it's Bobby. I have a new little mini album to share with you today. I just finished this one. It is very cute. I used the Bow Bunny <clears throat> Penelope collection. I've had it in my stash for quite a while. I did get it from Tammy at Country Craft Creations. Um, it's probably not available anymore, but always remember you can use whatever paper collection you have. If you like the, the project, you can make it using any collection. So this is the front of my album. It is a 6x8. And I used one of the papers for the front and a couple of the border strips. And then I fussy cut this out of one of the cut aparts. And this centerpiece was on a different cut apart. And I took some dies and used a scallop die and cut it out and layered it on top of this one. And then I have a 1 inch spine. And this is the back. I just love the blue in this collection. It is so pretty. So I have it with a ribbon closure, and when you open it, I created a little um, flag thing here on some baker's twine, and then I have uh, a large pocket in the back with a graphic 45 tag, and then I have two pockets in front of that with the smaller graphic 45 tags. These papers are so pretty. They're all in blues, greens, and browns. And there's that tag. And then on the spine, I have a double pocket. And each of those has a graphic <coughs> 45 tag. And I added a couple of the uh, cut aparts there. And on this one, it's another graphic 45 tag and then on the back of that one it says today I choose happiness I just love that I thought about putting that on the front but I ended up not then on the back cover I have four pages and they're just put in like a waterfall uh, this one uh, is got a photo mat here it says life was made for good friends and great adventures and this is from uh, one of the border sheets. <clears> then <throat> on the back we have a double photo mat. On page two there's a journaling spot. You could put a photo here if you wish. I just say covering up the paper though because I think it's so pretty. And then I went with the green and browns on this one. Then we're back to the blues and browns. Another photo mat. It says she's a dreamer. This would be pretty to journal, or you could um, journal or do your photo on either one. And then on the back of the fourth page, I have another photo mat, and then I just put this cut apart here. I just fussy cut it out, and I left it open at the top, so you could put something narrow, like a bookmark or a small tag in there. But that's my album. It was really quick and easy to put together. It didn't take any time at all. It was really, really fast. And if you'll stay tuned at the end of this walkthrough, uh, I do have a short, more of an explanation than a tutorial because I had already started putting this together and I got a message from a lady saying that she had done several um, home decor projects, but she shied away from uh, albums and folios because they just scared her to death. So I thought, you know, I really should explain this one before I get too far along with it because it is so easy and quick to put together. So I did do a short explanation of how I did the, um, especially the um, the center where I've got the two uh, pockets. So it was real, real easy and quick to do. Nothing to it. So like I told her, don't be afraid of making an album. Just jump in and have a good time. And if you have any questions, contact me on uh, either YouTube or Facebook, either one. I'll be glad to help you all that I can. So I thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the tutorial and I'll see you on my next project. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good morning everyone. It's Bobby. Uh, this will be a short, not really a tutorial, but an explanation of the album that I'm currently making. I started this one yesterday and uh, late last night I got a message from a lady who said she had made a few home decor pieces, but she was just scared to death of uh, folios and mini albums. So I thought, well, when I work on this today, 
I will update you on what I'm doing so that she's able to follow it. She wanted to make something small and easy. So this is what I started yesterday. It's just your basic album with medium weight cardstock. And it's two pieces of 8 by 6. And then the spine is 8 by 1. I wrapped it with the artisan cream colored or natural cardstock. And then normally on the inside... I would cover the whole thing with the cream color again, but this time I skipped that step and I just put my designer paper right down because I knew I wanted the same thing all the way across. So um, I had this Bow Bunny collection called Penelope in my stash and it's um, all sh browns, blues, and greens and it was so pretty and everybody's ready for spring after the cold winter so it just kind of grabbed my attention so I thought I would use that. So what I did was I cut four pieces of cardstock, and I think they're four and three quarters. Yes, four and three quarters by seven. I better turn it the right way so I can read it. By seven and a half. Four and three quarters by seven and a half. And I just adhered them to the back inside of the back cover like a waterfall. So there's four of them. Each one is scored at a half inch and just butted right up next to the one before it and glued down. And then I'll come up with something here. I did have to piece my cardstock together right there, but it's not really noticeable. I tried to match the, the print so it didn't stand out like a sore thumb. But then I'll have some way to hold these down. They may, after they're in a while, they may lay flat, but right now they're kind of springy. Then on the inside of the front cover, my intention is to put a pocket, and this is five by six and five eighths, and I've scored it on three sides at a half inch, and it will go inside the front cover, and it's not going to go completely from side to side. I wanted the designer paper to show, and I haven't folded this under yet, but it will go down here. I can't glue it down yet because I want to put my designer paper on it, and then and it. I, let me get one of these graphic 45 tags. The reason I chose that size is because of the cut aparts that are with this collection and the graphic 45 tags. And they will fit down inside of it. And then I made two small pockets that measure three and a half by three and seven eighths and scored them again on three sides. And these are gonna sit right on top of this pocket side by side and they will hold this little tag the graphic 45 tag so that will take care of the front and the back covers then on the that left this hinge and there's you know quite a bit of space in between the two so I wanted to add something there so what I'm going to do is I cut a strip an inch and a half and I scored it at a half an inch and then I found the center, and I just cut a V-shape in the center, and I'm going to attach that to the center of the spine, even with the pages. Actually, I can go ahead and put that down while we're here, so that you can see. And this is cut the same length of the pages, and I'm not going to miter the edges. I'm going to leave it just like it is. And I'm going to put that down in the center of the spine, and then I can go back and cut a piece of the designer paper to cover up the this flange that shows. So let me turn it where I can get it straight. And I'm going to put it right down the center of the... Let's see if that matches. Yes, that matches with the, with the page. Now what, I, what I'm going to do is I cut two more pockets. Let's see if I wrote the measurements down anywhere. Oops, I didn't. Um, let me see. I've got them typed down. Um, five and five eighths by four and seven eighths, and I'll have all this in the description box for you. Five and five eighths by four and seven eighths, and they're scored on three sides. And I'm going to just miter the top edge. And what I like to do when I miter so I don't get into my score line, I just fold it down like this, lay my scissors in there, and you never get into your score line that way. 
because I have done that before and it makes for an ugly edge. It leaves a flat spot, which I don't want. And then we're going to cut right into the cross section there and miter that. Because when you fold these together, these the bottom and the sides, you don't want any bulk. Some people now they fold them in and they attach the bottom to the sides. I don't like to do that because it it makes a lump under here and then when you score it you can see a shiny mark on the top of your paper. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is add my glue to here the underside. Oh do I want no, I don't want the underside. Not yet. That wasn't very smart of me. I want it to be like this. Well, maybe I do. Yeah. I want it on the top side so that I have a pocket. So I am going to attach this to the bottom of that, but I want this edge flush in here. Put that tucked under and bring this right over. Make sure it's flush with that. I'm not going to glue the top piece down right now because I want to cover my paper first and I want to put a little strip down in here because I'm going to notch this one. So this will lay right over the top of that and make a pocket. So the other one will be the same concept but it will go inside this one. Let me cut these edges first so we can do that one. corner in this corner make sure you don't get into your where your two score lines cross you don't want to nip that off then you'll have a hole and let me trim this one okay get paper flying everywhere let me take that off out of the way. And here's my other top piece. So we're going to fold that under, add our glue, now whether you want this top, this pocket to be first or this pocket to be first, it doesn't matter to me, so I'm going to put mine right here like this. This, this way the Two pockets will turn independently of each other. There. I didn't need to put glue all the way to the edge yet. So that will go here. This will go down. And then this will go over the top. So see, you'll have two separate pockets. This one will turn this way. And then this one will turn that way. So that's my thinking on that. And then I will have um, a strip of paper here to cover that up. So it's not obvious. But I thought that was a cute idea. I really like that. So when I... Uh, Put that down, this will tuck to the inside and actually be glued to this. But like I said, I want to put my designer paper on it and put a notch in it. And I need room to put a strip of designer paper under here too. So that's my thinking process. Um, 
the whoops goodness I just threw my ruler on the floor that's as much information as I can give you right at this point because I haven't thought it out any farther but that'll pretty much take care of the album I think it's going to be really really cute so um, I will come back and show you the finished product once I get all my papers on it and I hope you enjoy it if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that so you don't miss future projects and I will be back uh, with you soon showing you the finished product thank you have a good day